to come <coughs> to uh, bring the October 3rd planning and zoning meeting to order. Um, the first item on the agenda is to approve um, the minutes and the agenda. Move to approve the minute, the minutes and the agenda. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right, motion carries. Item number two. my mic's on. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'll, I'll repeat that real quick for everybody out there in TV land. Um, this is a continuation of the home occupation codes. The planning commission had recommended approval of the codes in July. The county commission has asked that the planning commission take a second look at the codes in August. Um, their biggest concerns at the time were nuisances and grandfathering old businesses. Um, we held a meeting in August with the, or September with the Planning Commission. It was a study session. We had Jim Guile as County Commissioner show up. When we discussed everything, the questions that came up, nuisances, something we don't want to regulate formally. It's a lot easier to have the Planning Commission look at everything case by case. Because if it is in the regulation, that's what I have to go by and there's a lot less bending things. For grandfathering, and we all understand the concern, and this again is better off as a case-by-case -case basis rather than having me as an administrator make the decision. What we're concerned about there is if somebody has been in business for, say, 10 years doing whatever they've done, over the years neighborhoods change over as people move out and new people move in. If those new people are aggravated by the business, it's something that the Planning Commission could take a look at. My experience is well, sometimes it's just new people that are, I didn't know this was there, and it's annoying me. Well, sorry, too bad, and that's a decision the Planning Commission can come up with. But sometimes the business has changed somehow, and that change is what's now aggravating business, the neighborhood. And again, something the Planning Commission can make a determination on. Um, the only thing that ever came up in any of the discussion was the protest petition, and the only thing I have on the slide, it's the same language we had last time. Uh, I'm not gonna go over every piece of it unless you'd like me to. And let me get to the part that changed. The protest petition that we had set up was if a majority of the neighborhood within 1,500 feet were to file a petition with the Planning Commission, then it would take a three-quarter vote instead of just a regular vote. And there seemed to be a lot of confusion on, on this, so we've decided we would take this out. And that's the, I'm guessing, the recommendation you'd like to make tonight. To kind of show you what would happen, if a complaint comes in, first thing we do is get an administrative review. Sometimes the complaint is nothing, and I just wave it away because it's not anything substantial. It's, I've had people complain about weeds in a field. Well, sorry, I'm not going to do anything about that. But if somebody would like to appeal that, they can take that over my head to the Planning Commission so that you guys will look at it. Um, some things I can't make a decision on or I know it might be a problem, it'll go straight to the Planning Commission. Somebody would have to make the application. We would treat this the same way we do use permits where we advertise to the newspaper, we put it to mail a letter to all the property owners nearby. The current way the rule is set up, or the, what was first amended, is that the protest petition, it would take a three-quarter vote to approve it. If there was never a protest petition, then it would just be a regular vote to keep approving it. And you could always appeal this to the Board of Zoning Appeals. What we'll end up with by crossing out that language, we just take out the protest approval vote, so no matter what, it would just be a regular vote, majority vote of the Planning Commission. And it's quite a bit simpler that way. That's all I have for you. So three quarters, would that be three quarters, three quarters of us? It would be three quarters of members yeah, present. I just wanted to clarify that. Let me, um, 
me make sure that's what it said. Uh, plan commission mm -hmm. require phrase. Vote of the members present. So you might have nine commissioners on the board, but only four showed up today. Well, take the majority of who showed up. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Another clarification. Okay. So if this company or these people have had a business for 15, 20 years, and all of a over the period of time the neighborhood has changed, then they can form a complaint, protest that they're there, and they then they could come in and, and make a big deal and we could actually make run that guy out of business? Is that what we're saying? You can vote yes or no to what's happening with that business. Wow. But again, that's a case-by-case -case basis. If a business has been in place for a long time, as the planner, I'm probably going to tell you that, well, this business has been in place for 15 years. I have had no complaints about it. We now have a complaint that there's too much traffic or something, I don't know. And I can't make that judgment call of really what is too much traffic. Y you have to listen to the neighbors and listen to the business owner and make a vote. At the same time, you could have somebody that's been there for 15 years and I can sit there and say, well, I've had several complaints on this. Or maybe it's something where he's been in business for 15 years, but now he's expanded to twice his size which would explain the increase in traffic, which, and again, still your call whether that's too much or not. Any other mechanics? Uh, mechanics are fairly common. We were having issues with the traffic yeah. a while back. Traffic can happen with anybody. I mean, think of an accountant <coughs> during tax season. Well, kids grow old enough to be teenagers and get their cars and actually mm -hmm. have friends for crying out loud. Yeah. It's so there you go. I tend not to put a lot of weight in traffic unless I'm seeing a, a huge increase. But basically, all we're doing is proposing to remove that protest petition part so it would make it easier for the Planning Commission to make a decision one way or another. But you've got it written out here as a little differently, right? Am I not reading that? Which part do you? Maybe I'm just <coughs> reading it right. I, it, it's got the same number for the uh, appeals. You mean like the motion for the entire PA 16101 or just the amendment? Um, it would be the entire case again. It's still the same case. We're just, it's never been approved and updated, so we're just amending, amending the thing we're still working on. And I see what I'm looking at wrong. Okay. Um, if for one gone, the number changes to the final one and moves up, that's my, yeah. my mistake. My first inclination was to second it, but I, I'm not easy in, in my mind. I, I see, I guess I, I see a, a couple of problems. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll second it. We can okay, I had a second. For clarification, we're voting to for the three quarters and not three quarters. No, no three quarters. The so it the takes the three the quarters out. Correct. The, and the realize that the three quarters makes it whoever is complaining. <laughs> for example, if the business owner, it typically the complaints are going to come from the neighborhood. I doubt very often that a business owner will complain against himself. Um, if the person, the business owner, and I'm going to refer this as the business owner in front of you, the original would have required a three-quarter vote that he would continue to conduct business, just a majority vote that he be denied his business. This would be a majority vote either way. Oh, to the 
guy or, or leave him alone. Whichever way he decides it. Oh, okay. The way, the way it was is it took three quarters to to keep his business. And that and that's why I think the county commissioners didn't like this wording. And 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 I, I honestly that's why I don't like it either. I just yeah, didn't and un uh, there was some confusion the first time I went through this. No, no, that's good. Good question. I, I, I just wanted to clarify it. Cause yeah, I do too. Because we're all we're all kind of on the side of business, if right. possible, yeah. when possible, and this allows us to be a little more open to them. Exactly, it simplifies it. I was seconding it. Already so been seconded. We have two seconds. Second. Okay. All right. Okay. So, so we're ready. Once we're done with discussion, yeah. Yeah. the yeah. chairman. All those in favor. <laughs> All those in favor, raise your right hand. Okay, it's unanimous and carried. Okay, and as for item three, if any additional stuff, I have nothing extra. I'll just remind people, if you are coming to the city county building for late meeting, the north entrance is still closed. Um, I'm not sure what the deal is with the bridge. The west entrance is typically open and the south entrance is typically open. Just the front door. Yeah. We're going to adjourn the meeting. Thank you.